In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. This fix that's being brought to you today is being brought to you by myself and the rest of my team also known as Fix Enhancers. The fix will contain higher resolution support including a fix for the high resolution crashing issue, higher aspect ratios, custom frame rate limit, custom field of view, windowed mode and a frame rate counter. Also I'll be going over how you can play this game co-op online later on. First things first getting this game to work on modern day windows. So you can actually install this game via the disk perfectly fine and play it on windows with no issues however i need to make something very clear as this is actually very important and this applies to everyone this game contains something known as safe disk drm drm stands for digital rights management safe disk is actually not supported on modern day windows and is blocked on most games so that you're not able to use it goblet of fire does actually contain safe disk and for some reason is not blocked on modern day windows this means that if you were to install the game and play it normally via the disk you are actually putting yourself at great risk so please do not play this game via the disc normally. You can install it via the disc perfectly fine. Now in order to be able to use our fix you will need an OCD crack. Due to legal reasons I cannot direct you or provide you with this. Something I need to quickly go over before we get into the fix is relating to our fixes going forwards. So some browsers and antivirus softwares might potentially flag up our fixes. Now to explain in an English way why this might happen, this is due to the fact that our fixes use something called hooks. What we do is we hook inside of the exe files for the game and then we can change the code inside of them. This is effectively how we're able to change the code inside of the exe file which then works inside of our dol file to allow you to use custom settings within the game. Of course the normal average user is not supposed to be using hooks within windows and this is why some antivirus softwares and browsers can get a little touchy about this. There is nothing actually wrong with any of these fixes these are all just false flags. So if you come to the first link down in the description in the pinned comment it will take you to this website here. This is github this is where we're hosting all of our fixes is going forwards and this is the one for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. All you simply need to do is come to this first file here which is a zip file and just click on that and download it and save it onto your PC somewhere. So once you downloaded the HP4 fix and saved it somewhere on your PC you're going to need to find the files and extract them. For the purposes of this tutorial I placed mine here on my desktop. As you can see I've created a folder called HP4 PC fix. So inside of this folder I have another folder here which is the HP4 fix.zip file which is the thing that you would have downloaded from the web. All you need to do with this is simply right click it and then click extract all. Once you do so it will create another folder here called HP4 fix. Then when we go inside of this folder we'll have three files available to us. We have a D3D9 DOL file, a D3D9 INI file and a readme file. The readme file is just there to explain the fix and explain everything about the team etc so if you want to read that then feel free. The two files that are important here are these two files here which is the DOL and the INI file. All you have to do with these two files is copy them over into your goblet file and install area where the exe for goblet fire is you can either drag and drop them over there or do a control c and a control v over there so once you copy them across you should see both of these files inside the install area just here you'll now need to open up the d3d9 ini file in order to edit the settings so once you open up the ini it will look something like this these are all the options available to you i'm going to go through each one one by one so first things first the frame rate limit so this is of course the frame rate limit for the game it is completely uncapped now so you could choose whatever frame rate you like depending on whatever frame rate you wish to use in the game you simply just write the number there on the left hand side so for me I've left it at 120. The next option FPS limit mode you have the option of either a 1 or a 2 for this option it meant that everyone just stays at 2 so just put the number 2 on the left hand side there. Display FPS counter so this will display a frame rate counter on the top left hand corner of the screen while you're playing the game so if you wish to turn it on simply change that 0 to a 1. Force window mode so this will allow you to play the game in window mode if you wish to play the game in window mode you simply change that 0 to a 1. I do need to just quickly add regarding the window mode in this game there is a small bug as it stands right now where basically when you boot up the game straight away in window mode it will stay in window until you get to the point where you're asked to push a button to go into the actual main game's main menu as soon as you do that the game will then maximize itself into full screen once again in order to fix this as it currently stands if you press ctrl or delete on the keyboard and just bring up task manager or just press escape when you see all the options when you press ctrl or delete then what should happen is the game window should then go straight back to window mode once again this will only currently happen at startup for this game we're not quite sure fully what's doing that just yet but we're looking into it next option is full screen resolution so this is obviously the resolution of your screen that you're going to be using while playing the game i do also need to add at this point with this you might remember in the past when i did my old guide here i was explaining that if you played on resolutions above 1920 by 1080 then you would experience crashing on certain levels this has now been resolved and we've got a fix for that here inside of this fix that makes it so that no longer happens 
happens on higher resolutions. So you can now officially play this game from start to finish on higher resolutions without any issues. Now depending on what resolution you want to play at in the game you simply choose the number from the right hand side there and put it over on the left hand side. So in my case I play at 4k which is 3840 by 2160 so I have the number 4 on the left hand side. Next option is full screen aspect ratio so this allows you to change the aspect ratio of the game. By default we've left this on 16 by 9 as this is what most people will be using which of course is the number 1. However if you use a different aspect ratio say for example 32 by 10 then you would change that 1 to a 6. Next option is field of view also known as FOV. Now by default the game uses a field of view value of 114. From experimenting on the game with field of views I played through the game on 120 and 130 field of view and for the most part it's absolutely fine. I will say that if you go up to 130 you might start to see some texture popping on the sides of the screens in certain levels. My recommendation is that everyone sticks to 120 probably at max if you don't want to see any major issues while using field of view in the game. Alternatively if you just want to play with the default field of view you would change that number on the left hand side to a zero. And then finally the bottom options are extra options for window mode. So these are all the different options you can choose to use while playing in window mode on this game. Obviously I'm going to leave this up to you guys that are using window mode to decide what you want to use down here. There are descriptions on the right hand side of what each option does in window mode so you can just play around with this and see what you want to use. Once you've selected all the options that you want in here you either press ctrl s on your keyboard or alternatively you come up to the top here and click file and then save. Before you now launch Goblet of Fire there is one extra part that I recommend everyone does. As most people that have played this are probably aware that the actual keyboard controls of this game are god awful and of course you can't use the mouse on this game as it currently stands. However for the time being I highly recommend if you're going to play this game you play it using a controller. So within your Goblet of Fire install area you should see that there is an exe called gofcontrols.exe. Open this up. So once you click on that exe it should open up a little box like this. What you should see down in the white bit here is your controller. So mine is known as a wireless controller which is actually a PS4 controller but just click on it. Once you click on it you'll be presented with this. This is basically where you can figure all the controls that you need to. So where it has a flashing red button showing up this is the button that you need to press on your controller. You can also check inside of here if your analog stick is being recognized or not by just simply moving your analog stick like so and you should see that black dot will be moving around. Once you've configured all of your controls on your controller you simply just click save and exit in here. If you were to now go and boot up Goblet of Fire you should see that you have the correct resolution aspect ratio, frame rate, field of view and you should be able to use your controller with no issues and of course all the other options in RNI as well. One thing to note with this fix is if you are a person that uses subtitles on the game then I'm afraid the subtitles will be very broken. Not only are they really small when you go higher up in resolution which is really difficult to resolve and sort that out I'm afraid but also you will find that due to changing the frame rate and allowing you all to actually play the game at better frame rate in general it unfortunately does break the subtitles and they go out of sync. If you wish to play multiplayer on this game then you can play it in a couple of ways. You can either play it on one system so you have a person using a keyboard and you have two people using controllers or you can use a program called Parsec. Parsec basically allows you to control another PC so what this means is if you wish to play online with some friends for example then you can have that friend host the Parsec PC and then the other two people can tap into that PC and play with other controllers on their system on Goblet of Fire. I will leave a link for Parsec down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And the last thing I want to cover inside of this tutorial is a new system that we're putting in for all of our fixes going forward which is fix forms. So if you come to the link down in the description it will take you to this website here. This is basically our form where we leave this here for you guys to give us feedback on the fixes. So any feedback that you have regarding the fix at all, any bugs encountered etc then you can leave them here and submit it to us and then it means we can easily collect all this data in one place so if you do fill out a feedback form for us it will help us out a lot otherwise that's all there is to this video i hope you guys found it useful if you have any questions at all then please let me know down in the comment section and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can if you need any other guys for fixing other pc games then there will be links to those down in the description in the pinned comment so you can go and check out that playlist as well otherwise i hope you guys found the video useful and i'll see you all in my next fix video very soon